All right, everybody. Welcome back to the old iron shop. All right. Well, my heap was asking what I used for my video gear, and uh, aside from the phone that I'm using to actually shoot this video, uh, my computer, which is kind of getting to be a relic, but uh, it's just a laptop, nothing super fancy. But what I use for my main camera, it's right here. It's a GoPro Hero 4 Silver, and. Uh, for the microphone, I use uh, this here. It's a Remote View um, M1 plus A1 is the model, and it comes with uh, this is a backpack. It mounts to the back of the camera, and uh, that's like a wireless receiver. And then here's the the Bluetooth microphone. And the thing that I really liked about this is that uh, it's actually a waterproof microphone too. Um, I, I believe the way it sits right now, you know, if it, it could probably handle like a little bit of rain, but you actually have a case here and you would have to look, I forget. I've, I've really never used this case, but, uh, I think you could actually, you know, probably go underwater with that thing. Uh, I don't know what you're going to be recording underwater, but you know, it has that capability. The reason I wanted to have, you know, waterproof on, on my camera gear is, you know, uh, we're in there cutting and grinding away on metal and stuff I, I just want to keep all that kind of stuff away from the you know the electronics and uh, I really gotta say uh, I like the customer service of these guys uh, this clip right here we can zoom in see it's kind of broken right there there's a little loop where that pin goes through and it snapped one day I was like oh boy I wonder what this is going to cost so I, I called them up and they said, well, as long as you're in the United States, we'll just send you one. So th they didn't just send me just this. They sent me the whole little kit that that comes in, which comes with, with one of these here. And this has got the, you know, the GoPro style mount. And you can actually take that microphone and stick it onto a mount. And, uh, you know, I don't know, put it somewhere in the room or whatever if you want to use it, you know, on a stand, let's say. Um, it also comes with a charger here. Uh, this thing takes the normal uh, USB, you know, micro USB um, cables. So that's nice. Uh, for some reason, GoPro uses a proprietary plug. And it comes with this little thing here. And this is one of the things that also I really liked about all this. So this plugs into the backpack unit and then plugs into the camera. You have to pardon this thing. It's got terrible autofocus. Anyway, so it actually, you know, records straight into the GoPro and, and, you know, I don't have to like mix the audio. It all just happens live on the fly. You know, there's, there's no thinking on my part. Uh, so I, I really like that unit. It works great. Uh, people seem to like the sound quality. Uh, GoPro is notorious for having poor microphones. Um, and then if you want to put it inside of waterproof housing, so, you know, I, for the same reason, you know, I want to keep the camera away from everything. Oh, yeah, let's go ahead and knock the camera down. But uh, the only other thing you have to buy is uh, the backpack back door. Eh, it's maybe it's less than $10, I think. It's not much. Uh, the only problem is you lose, you know, on the Hero Silver here, it's got a, a LCD display. Well, you lose that. But when I use the phone to turn on and off the camera, I can use the screen as a display, so... Uh, which is which is actually probably better because then I can be standing in front of the camera and sort of make sure I'm in frame or whatever I'm doing is in frame. So the other thing, of course, you're going to want to get is uh you know some extra batteries. And this is made by uh, Wasabi Power. These these are good batteries. I have no complaints about these. They seem to last fine. Oh, and while we're talking about batteries, the batteries in these units here, this stuff lasts forever. I mean. I could record probably 10 times before I have to even think about charging those units up. I probably only had to charge them four or five times in the year or two that I've had them. So, I mean, it does not seem to use a lot of power. Anyway, and I kind of like their box they come with, too. It's almost like a checkbook box or something. It's a pretty nice cardboard box. I just keep that in the shop, and then, you know, I keep the, the microphone itself and all the accessories inside of there. Uh, let's see the other thing here. I bought this case. I can't remember who makes it. It's got a K. 
I think it might be Kingston. Don't quote me on that. But it wasn't very expensive. It was like $20 and has all these little cutouts. You can keep all the you know, accessory back doors. There's three or four different styles of doors, skeletonized ones. Uh, you know, extra screws and things like that. Uh, here's stuff for... Oops, I don't want to lose that guy. That covers up some of your ports. Normally I don't I don't have that on because it's always inside the case with that little little jumper in there. Anyway, that was a pretty good deal. Very cheap. And uh, the other things that I use here is a, it's actually a Noga base. So probably have something like this. I mean, if you don't, you need something. It doesn't necessarily have to be a Noga even. But... You can find these, right? So this is a GoPro to a quarter 20 adapter. And I don't know why they don't just come with these. That You know, why they think nobody would ever want to mount their cameras to a regular, um, you know, tripod or something. But so I just, this is a, I think, 3 8 piece of bar. And I just put quarter 20 threads on it and Loctited that in there. And then I can... Anything that'll hold an indicator, I can mount the camera to. Lock it onto there, and then whenever you see me doing stuff like really close on the lathe or or whatever, you know, it's it's probably on this Noga, Noga mount. And then for you know regular tripod work, I got this thing here. Let's see if we can turn around so you can read it. It's a Hollywood uh, brand. Um, tripod and see if I can bolt this thing probably not but it has like a fluid head here so it, you know it moves really smooth and it kind of has a little resistance so it doesn't it doesn't jerk with the pan and the tilt and everything like that works really great uh, I got this at a thrift store for like ten dollars and the you can see here, I was planning on preparing it, but the, the crank for lifting this thing here up, it's broken off. But, you know, if you just unloosen the lock, you can just lift it up by hand and lock it. It really doesn't seem to matter much. And, of course, this is the part that, you know, goes into that. So, you're wondering how much it cost. When I bought it, the camera was I think five hundred dollars, but I think now they're down to like two or three. I saw some prices on eBay. And that'll get you the the camera with the case and a battery. Uh you'll have to buy a uh a memory card and a like a sixty four gig uh memory card I think it was about thirty two dollars. You want to make sure uh you need to get one that's rated for this camera. You know they need to be really high speed memory. Anyway, I'll come with that. One battery. Uh, you definitely gonna need a couple of extra batteries because you'll you'll go through a lot of them. Um, the charger here with the extra two batteries, I think that was like twenty dollars. Very affordable. The USB microphone that was a really good deal. Um, I think if you look like it retails for like a hundred dollars or something like that, but I've seen them down as low as sixty dollars. And you know, boy. I tell you what, well worth the investment. Um, like I said, the case, maybe like 20 bucks, whatever, you know. You can find anything. Camera cases are easy to come by. Uh, this little adapter thing here is like a dollar on eBay. You just look on eBay, they got dozens of them out there. They're like a buck a piece. Um, the Noga mount, I guess I'm going to say that that's probably not really camera gear proper because I do use it as a as an indicator mount, but uh, I think that's maybe like 80 or, you know, around $100 or so. But certainly not necessary, but I think it's very useful. And uh, for like editing software, when you buy the GoPro camera, uh, they actually have an editing suite that you can download for free, and I do all my editing with that. Uh, it takes a little little while to get used to it and learn it, but there's a uh, there's uh, some pretty good tutorials on YouTube, and uh, maybe I'll put a you know a link down there in the description. So I hope this has answered all your questions. Uh, 
The only other thing that I use that really isn't on here is, uh, you know, I have some lights in the shop, but it's just like, you know, like a floodlight. Um, you know, it's just stuff that I had laying around. And really, I mean, you can get fancy lighting and stuff like that. There may be a hundred bucks or a couple hundred dollars for for professional type of lighting. But, you know, just look up how to light a scene on YouTube. There's plenty of good videos about that. And, uh, you know, you can find anything. So I think I've pretty much covered about all that. So if you found this helpful, you know, give me the old thumbs up. That would be great. Share it for anybody else you think might be interested in this. I think this is a pretty affordable kit for uh, making fairly good good quality videos. Anyway, we'll be signing off.